Welcome back. I copied over my old hard drive to this hard drive or the, my YouTube working directory, but now I want to make an archive of it with tar and save it to my server in case I make any drastic changes to this. I have a relatively clean backup. The original directory saw or is 97 gigs, but after I copied it over, I only have 68 gigs. So the smarter move would have been to archive it first. I don't want to archive it directly to the server just because of if I have any type of network connectivity issues that will run into a problem. I don't know if I use tar with compression if it will compress it as it's running or later on. But like anything else, let's just figure it out if it will. As you see here, I have the man command. I want a tar and I'm gonna make it a, I'm gonna create a, uh, an archive. It's gonna be a file, not to standard out or anything like that. I am gonna make it verbose. That is kind of not necessary. And I'm gonna actually do that in this screen because I still want the tar up so create file verbose now what type of compression am i going to use so if you go through the man page it gets to compression you can do an auto compress which that really is if you're unarchiving but i'm going to use gzip it's dash z so we'll go z and i'm going to call it yt backup and let's go with today's date so for october 24 and what am i archiving is the youtube directory and i should just be able to use a relative path on this let's find out let's let's go ahead and go with it okay and there's the mistake i made the dash the F command needs to be the last file because what I ended up doing is creating a 12 gig VZ file. So I am going to remove VZ and let me just double check. Yep, still have the same. I am going to make the F command the last one. As you can see, I don't generally create things with create backups with tar, but in this case I do. And that's, if I would have read the man page closer, I would have realized that. Let's go ahead again. So it wasn't compressing it because it wasn't reading the Z flag. And I also weren't seeing again the verbose output. So now I should be getting a stream of files on the screen. And let's go. Okay, and it's going the first directory it's archiving is my ffmpeg directory and that is the one that had a lot of my files in it i will go ahead and fast forward through this unless my screen capture crashes again then it'll just be right back and let's before i do that let's just see what that file size is and okay after about a couple minutes it's about a gig and it actually has quite a bit of stuff now the stream directory that had a lot of other files in there I wasn't keeping good file management with this I was keeping the videos and the the scripts I was making and everything all in one directory I eventually when I went to create the C version I fixed a lot of that and this, there's that one of those pipe files. That may just be trying to copy whatever's in that stream. Okay, it's 2.2 gigs. I'm going to give it a minute and test it again. If it's, I don't know if it's telling me which file it's starting on. I don't know exactly how the verbose works. I can't wait until I get everything set up correctly. This current process is becoming a drag. The directory which was 97 gigs compressed down to 61 not a tremendous improvement but at least this way i have a little bit of room to spare on the drive i am going to take this file
copy it to my server, then delete it from here, and I will have that 90 or 60, 61 gigs back. We can move on to the next process. So thank you for watching. You have a great day.